One in five men will get prostate cancer in their lifetime. But knowing which of these men will have aggressive disease requiring aggressive treatment has been a puzzle for doctors, particularly because the blood test used to detect and monitor prostate cancer, called the prostate-specific antigen or PSA test, is far from perfect. PSA has been a great uh, test because it's allowed prostate cancer to be detected earlier and it saved lives. We know that. But the problem is that it's not accurate enough. And uh, with PSA testing, uh, we find out about cancers that might not be dangerous, might not require treatment. And also a lot of men get a biopsy who don't wind up having cancer. So we, w we do need to move beyond the blood tests that are currently available to get something that's more accurate. Investigators are hoping that accuracy may stem from another type of sample, a urine test. Funded by a $3.1 million grant from the National Institutes of Health, BIDMC researchers are leading a multi-site series of clinical trials, evaluating whether a simple urine test, when added to the results of a PSA test, can give doctors a better indication of the presence of prostate cancer, including how likely it is to grow and spread. Really what these tests are looking at is some of the genetic abnormalities that we now know are part and parcel of what makes a prostate cancer different from normal prostate tissue. Over the next five years, researchers will evaluate the urine and blood of 2,400 men. It will include men facing biopsies because of a worrisome PSA test. It will also reach out to men being screened for the first time. A focal point of that work involves a community outreach effort using the Blum Family Van Cancer Screening Program, a collaborative effort between Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. We actually target underserved communities, so a lot of the work that we do is out in the community trying to encourage those men who otherwise would not be screened to be screened. African American men have a uh, prostate cancer incidence that's uh, one and a half, nearly two times that of white men in this country. Not only that, the cancer tends to be more aggressive and the mortality rate higher. Even more reason for those like 57-year-old Richard Smith to get screened. You have to really let African American men know how serious this thing is, you know. And if they want to live a long, happy life, they'll be running into it, like I just did. <laughs> Smith is participating in the study by giving both a urine and blood sample on this day. He agrees that having a more diverse population involved in studies like this will make the treatments better. They explained to me earlier in there that the, a large amount of African Americans are affected with the disease. And if I can do something to, to, to uh, bring attention to it and make sure I don't have it, I'm with it. I'm, I'm doing it. A lot of the treatments that we come up with are sort of based on actually uh, white men. So we'd like to get more African Americans involved in clinical trials uh, to make our clinical trials better and make the data better and make the treatments fit the patient populations. Beth Israel Deaconess has partnered with the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, the Weill Cornell School of Medicine, and the University of Michigan in these clinical studies. All hope that adding a urine test might lead to a new way of better detecting the most common male cancer. We hope to take the life-saving benefits of PSA testing and improve that even further and at the same time to eliminate overtreatment and unnecessary biopsies for prostate cancer. So ultimately we want to have our cake and eat it too and uh, get men into a better situation than where, when, than where uh, they are now in terms of uh, uh, their uh, prospects uh, for having to deal with prostate cancer.